Bueno, vamos a ver qué misión podemos continuar. Vale, verdad, rey. Eh, subimos a nivel 15 de aventura. Podemos hacer esto del trabajo problemático. Tempus Fujit, acto 1. Un trabajo problemático. Uy. No vuelto a equivocar. Venga, vamos a hacer esta. Y. Ojo, oh, que es aquí cerquita. If you're borrowing a book, please register it in the log. The restricted section is currently not lending any books. Oh, it's you, little cutie. It's so good to see you. More refreshing than a strong cup of tea in the afternoon. Clearly you're meant to be working, but you don't seem to have your heart in it at all. I mean, other than Jean, who really works that earnestly anyway? So, did you have something you needed? Or did you just come to see me? Ooh, a smooth talker. No so, Miss Librarian, got any books to recommend? Hmm, recommended books. Sadly, everything I'd personally recommend is all in the restricted section, which we're not currently lending out. What's with your ominous tone? Oh, right. Would you be interested in checking out the Devat Travel Guide? I think it would be quite helpful for you as travelers here. Ooh, sounds like it could be helpful. Do you think we could take a peek? <sighs> I suppose I can try to find you a copy from the li- Isn't this Lisa's job? What does she mean, I suppose? Oh dear. That's unfortunate. Our copy is currently being borrowed. That said, it has now come to think of it, quite a few of our books are now overdue. <sighs> I really wish people would just return their books on time. Whoa, is Paimon imagining things, or does the air in here suddenly feel a lot more electrified? <sighs> Such a pain. <sighs> I'm going out to bring those unreturned books back. If you'd rather get your hands on that copy of the Tavat Travel Guide sooner, you'd better come with me. Uh, Lisa seems really scary right now. Paimon thinks it would be best if you answer her. You really are such a considerate cutie. Let's see. First, we can go to... The Souvenir Shop. It's called With Wind Comes Glory. So, let's meet there shortly.
waiting. You're here. Let's begin, shall we? Hello, Marjorie. Any exciting new items in stock? Why so surprised? Today is such a special day. It's only natural that I'd want a souvenir to remember it by. Since we came all this way, why don't we put our official business to one side for a moment? All work and no play makes life terribly mundane. <laughs> well, if it's a souvenir you're after, you're in the right place. I'm sure you'll find something that strikes your fancy, Lisa. Or you could let your new friend pick something out for you. Make it more of an occasion. Yes, yes! Let us pick! This pair? Soft, puffy, and very comfortable. Certain to make a little girl, well, in this case a woman, look quite adorable. After all, they're the same kind worn by toy dolls. They're practically a badge of cuteness. Bloomers? I'm sure to attract some strange looks if I dress up like a small child in public. Do you have some strange hobby you're not telling me about? Are you sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. <sighs> well, if you insist, I'll just use them as an extra pair of pajamas. Goodness, is that the time? <sighs> Marjorie, one last thing. About the legend of Vanessa. Oh, so you're a fan of the gallant lady Vanessa too? Why didn't you say so? I have all sorts of items I could recommend. For example, this lion's tooth pendant with Vanessa's name carved into it. It was once a medal awarded to a knight by the great lady herself. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I do apologize. I got so excited when you mentioned Vanessa. I didn't know that book was overdue, even though I take it with me everywhere. I can't believe I didn't put two and two together as soon as I saw you here. <laughs> here you go. <sighs> well, since you look up to Lady Vanessa so very much, please be more punctual next time. Yes, Lisa. I will be, Lisa. Let's go and find the next overdue book. Welcome to Good Hunter. Table for two? Three! Oh, <laughs> my apologies. Please sit wherever you like and call me over once you're ready to order. So, we're gonna eat first and bring up the book situation later? Why, of course. The stress of work really takes the pleasure out of eating, don't you think? Work is that bad, huh? Today's recommendation is... <sighs> Why don't you order us something, cutie? I'm ever so curious to know what your tastes are. This seems like the sort of staple bar food you'd find at the tavern. It has an extremely strong flavor, so drinkers love it because they can actually taste it. You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Hmm, finished ordering? Sit here, let's dine together. Such a potent aroma. It's almost suffocating. I never thought someone your age would go for a dish like this. I always had you down as a little cutie. Now I'm not so sure. Ugh, I'm on so full. Time is getting on. I suppose I should carry on with this ghastly thing called work. Let's have a little chat with Sarah about her library book. Would you like to order something else? No, thank you. We're quite satisfied. But I'm afraid I must ask you about the boar princess. The boar brisket? <laughs> I'm sorry. I think we took that off the menu. <sighs> she means the book you borrowed. Oh, of course. I came straight to the restaurant after I borrowed it and completely forgotten that I even had it. 
I'm so sorry, Lisa. I will bring it to the library myself as soon as I finish work. <clears throat> okay then, but make sure you don't forget this time. Right, on to our next stop then, cutie. This is our final call for the day. Welcome! Uh, couples are our specialty. Ah, uh, yes. Now, which book was it that has the line, A date without flowers is a date without romance? <laughs> Why, it just so happens that I would, my kindest cutie. Some flowers for Miss Lisa? What would you like? Dandelions are one of our classics, and a personal favorite of Miss Flora, the shop owner. I know what you're thinking. Most flower shops don't sell dandelions. They are a nuisance to care for. Perhaps Miss Flora likes the sense of floating away to a faraway land. Come to think of it, Miss Flora herself gives people the same impression. You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Dandelions? They actually sell dandelions? They have a refreshing scent, similar to the one Jean wears. Thank you. Okay, time to get back to business. Donna, do you know why we're here? Back to business? My business is selling flowers. <sighs> Once again, we see a total lack of respect for literature. The Pale Princess and the Six Pygmies. Ring a bell? Oh, uh... Yes. Well, what happened was... Oh no, what am I gonna do? I... I lost the book. <sighs> A while back, I realized it was almost due, and I was getting ready to bring it back to the library. But I couldn't find it anywhere. I looked for days, but nothing. It's like somebody stole it. It should have been there, on my bedside table, right where I left it. Uh-oh. That Lisa does some crazy things when she gets mad. I heard that. <laughs> well, if it really was stolen, Donna's done the thing wrong. The blame lies with the book thief. And their punishment will be three. No, ten times worse than stealing my book. Like Paimon said, totally crazy! Oh, don't worry about that. As long as I remain librarian, not a single book will go missing for good. I put a unique elemental marker on each book. Our thief will have left a nice set of clues for us to follow. When did Lisa start taking her job so seriously? Paimon always thought she was a total slacker. Hey, sweetie. I've heard your elemental sensitivity is very strong. Why not see what you can do? Elemental sensitivity? Sense... Huh? Oh, Paimon's got it! Use your elemental sight to look for clues! Can't you give me a better price? Looking at the elemental traces, it does seem likely that the book was stolen. So Donna didn't do anything wrong after all! It's not from the restricted section, so it's hardly a book worth stealing. Whoever wanted this book so badly had a strange fixation indeed. Hmm. So, what do we do now? The elemental traces are very faint, but I can tell that the thief took it beyond the city walls. You must see it too, right, cutie? Let's follow the trail and have a look where our thief was headed, shall we? The elemental traces are strong here, but it seems our thief did not stay for long. The trail keeps going. Let's keep looking.
Hmm. It's further than I thought. Quite the intrepid explorer, our little thief. Maybe we frighten the turtle back inside his shell. It must be nearby. Using elemental sight, you can even detect magic. Follow the flow of magic to find the book. People do have some strange quirks. Please do not jump to such a preposterous conclusion about the living habits of Mondstadt's residents. This seems far more likely to be the work of some none too friendly troublemakers. Stealing books is hardly the Hilly Churl's style. All they would use books for is to keep their campfire going anyway. This is more likely to be the Abyss Order's doing. They do seem to have a way of slipping in and out of places like ghosts, after all. Also, there's an elemental seal at the entrance. It looks like the result of an Abyss Mage's magic. A seal? How are we gonna break it? Is this gonna turn into another huge ordeal? <laughs> Not to worry. If you think a little magic can keep me out, think again. Why is that? Come on. Whoa! So this is what Lisa's like when she's hard at work. <laughs> 